Okay, we're going to do a review of the Netgear AC3200, which is the R8000 router. Um, this is kind of a follow-up to the review of the Asus uh, AC2400, the um, RT87R slash U router. Um, this bad boy came in this week. The reviews, honestly, I'm split because um, the technology, the uh, MU-MIMO technology, uh, multiple input, multiple output, is actually technically a newer technology, which is from what I understand, uh, it can support multiple users, although this one has another radio, so I think in a way this is better. Um, we're going to have to do some testing to find out. Honestly, to start off, the box looks really cool. It has that up on both of the others. This router in particular, I mean, everything is shiny. Everything. Uh, this router in particular costs a lot more. Um, I was hearing from someone about how <laughs> about how it costs more even with a discount, like an employee discount. They pretty much get things 5% above cost, and the uh, RT87 U costs $167 after taxes and whatnot, whereas this one costs about $240. So this one is significantly more expensive. I don't know if that just means it costs more for Netgear to make this than it does for Asus to make the AC2400, um, but I'm, I'm quite curious to see what this handles. Um, overall, that is a really awesome looking router. Um, you can't really can't beat what that's going to look like on my desk here. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's an interesting, it's the Nighthawk X6, which nobody calls it that, they just call it the R8000. It's going to be fun to do once again with one hand. But I think we'll pull it off. Alright. So, very similar to how the, uh, this kind of looks, I don't know, it's really easy to just open this up at all. It's, it's kind of, I don't know, dusty, it may have been used, but unlikely considering how new the router is. There it is. Remove my knife and just sit it down here. And I'm going to pull off this guy. So, um, each of these antennas, they feel a little bit chintzy, to be honest. I mean, that, I don't know if you can see that. Let me try and... I mean, that's, uh, all of them have that, that little wiggle. I mean, I guess I wouldn't expect much. It is nice you don't have to screw on the antennas. Um, they all just kind of feel a little bit cheap. Um, cheaply connected, like would break it off if you hit it too hard or something. Oh. Oh yeah, I guess that's because they're not snap all the way out. Yeah, I believe they're meant to be all the way out. That would be my guess, considering... Oh, there's two snaps, so... Yeah, I never know. It's hard to say. Um, I've caught some wiring. It's the only one that seems to have any visible wiring. Oh no, I guess they all do. They each have a different color. So, uh, my first instinct is going to be to um, try it like this. Put them all facing up. And then we'll put them out. It is nice that they have those snapping um, situations. So, moving around the router here, you can see uh, there's no ports in the front. Just the information here in the bottom. 
the back, we've got two USB ports. USB 2, they label them, which is nice, like everybody doesn't know that blue is USB 3. Um, got the 4, the internet, USB 3, and the push button, which I guess it's idiot proof, it's already set to on. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to this little guy. The rest of the box here we've got installation guide manual, it's very similar to the R7000, power cable, or rather, Ethernet cable. Ooh! This bad boy has a whole regular power PC power cord and a, uh, <laughs> a little AC adapter here for it. Let's, does the phone focus or not? Yeah. Check that out. This is the only router we've seen so far that's actually needed it. It's on one of these. I'm going to head upstairs and plug it in. It was in the video there. Alright, so, uh, as you can see, my R, uh, AC, RT87 has some dust on it already. We're a week in. Uh, first impressions on this guy, not to cross over into a different router, but we're having, we have 36 devices on it, 36 to 40 devices at any given time. We have quite a few people here. And uh, we drop wireless quite a bit. I'm not sure if that's just a bug with the uh, firmware that could be fixed or, or what, but um, that's kind of what prompted the testing of this. We already had it on order, so we thought we'd try it out here. 45 day return policy is pretty nice too. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and uh, get this guy plugged in. Powered off. Some cables here. So size comparison, they're pretty much identical as far as this is a lot thicker than this. Um, but as far as width goes, they're pretty pretty equal in that respect. I'm surprised they put the wireless password on the device. They previously used to put that um, well, the R7000. It was on the packaging of the device. Oh, and they put one of the peel stickers too. Are you kidding me? Not good for neck here. I strongly oh, got to be kidding me. It would be a peel sticker, so. Um. That's not horrible. Now yeah, that I got that, if I do end up keeping a little goo gone, should have as red as rain. So yeah, um, next up I guess would be the double tied, <laughs> that's hilarious, I guess they anticipate they put two, two twisty ties on here, one on the inside after you, so that if you don't want a ton of cable you can just plug it in that way, and which I actually think I, I can respect that. Sure not to use the same power cord, I would imagine. It's a no no. Let's see if I can turn this on its side. The thing I like about this one over both the R7000 and the AC87 um, is that this one has a USB 3 port on the back. I think they should have done that all along. I'm going to plug in the power here. Lights are on, we're flashing. Let's put the antennas all the way out. Alright, so. 
not gonna lie, that does look pretty, pretty awesome. And we're on. Let's resume to check out the web interface, the setup process. Desktop Netgear Mac Genie to monitor and repair your network. Um, no. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. So we're going to install apparently the Mac Genie. I'm quite curious to see this. This does differ from the R7000 a bit. Okay, so this is neat. Um, despite the fact that it's failing out on the web interface, um, I do seem to have... Um, that's actually pretty cool. Netgear gives me a Netgear Genie for managing your wireless uh, router from your Mac now. This is just failing out. I'm actually surprised. On the first setup, I did not expect this to fail out. Especially with a router that's been out this long. Okay, so if you hit cancel on the upgrade, it just uh, takes you here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't upgrade it. Router settings. This is kind of cool. I wonder if I can make this bigger. I can't. Okay. Router update. Next. So if you run the uh, router update from the actual Netgear Genie, it seems that you... Uh, let's go to Google. Alright, so Google works. Let's go to speed test first thing. See what we get here. Seven forty-five. Well, we were in the eights, mid eights there for a minute. That's less than the Asus router out of the box, surprisingly. Um, the R seven thousand would get nine hundred, just like uh, the upload. It was nine thirty and like nine nine oh five up. Um, so we're already lagging behind here. A new firmware upgrade is available. Press next. Okay, so we're going from one point oh forty-six to one point oh ninety. Three to five minutes. This will be good. I'm going to fast forward through this. Okay, it looks like it's done um, or not. Oh, look, it interrupted the connection to my USB drive, which we will note mounted automatically. Uh, disconnect all. So my guess would be, considering the fact that the internet is good, that the router is already back up and that this thing is just timing out, that would be my um, thought there, that the app is not as good as the web interface. Let's go to the web interface and see what we can get here. Congratulations, upgrade is complete. So it looks like they have a lot more time than you need to do the update, probably just for safety and security features. Uh, please wait a few seconds while we test for another update. My guess is we're already up to date. Let us go to um, routerlogin.com. Uh, that's right, Netgear's different. Admin password. Okay, so the web interface here looks very similar to uh, what we were seeing here. I don't like the app as much, to be honest. Probably good for simple changes once we once we have things all set up but for right now that's not really um, my thing let's go to wireless and uh, looks like they pre-configure some uh, wireless passwords here parental controls excellent so yeah out of the box we are working we are on wireless we're good to go let me go ahead and run a speed test again Seven sixty six. So yeah, we're about the same on the upload. Not gonna make or break the bank on a gigabit connection, but seventy five percent of what we are, roughly eighty percent of what we were getting before, on the R seven thousand is noticeable. So I wonder if uh, we'll have to check and see if there's any kind of uh, filtering turned on here. Or all right, so that is uh, the out of the box. Um, I'm gonna go through all of these settings um, like I did on the AC twenty four hundred and watch for that video follow up next. Thanks for watching.